Hey guys, how's it going? This is Fixer Med. Welcome back to my YouTube channel series on the 8BitDo Micro. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to connect your 8BitDo microcontroller to your Android device. For the sake of this tutorial, you're going to need an Android device that's capable of connecting to other external Bluetooth devices, and you're going to need an Android device that is able to run and operate Anki Droid. You're also going to need the 8-bit though microcontroller, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. So first off, before we open up any settings or anything, you're going to need to make sure that the 8-bit though microcontroller is set to the S mode. So make sure you go to the bottom of your controller and flip the knob to the S mode. I get a lot of questions on, oh, my 8-bit though micro isn't working. It's probably because you're not in the right mode. So just go ahead and switch to the S mode. It should be the furthest knob on the left. It goes SDK, so S mode. Once you're on the S mode, you can go ahead and open up your settings page and open Bluetooth and Actually, before you even open Bluetooth, you can go ahead and hold the home button and the pair button for one second, and then you should see your controller blinking with a blue or red light. Usually it's blue if the charge is good, it's red if the charge is a little lower. So go ahead and enter into pairing mode by holding the home button and the pair button. So once you're there, it should pop up in available devices as Pro Controller. Go ahead and pair the 8-bit though microcontroller to your device. I have a older Android device, so it's going to take a bit longer for me to pair, but as you can see, it's still connected properly. So now that my uh, controller is paired to my Android device, I can go ahead and close out of the settings page, open up Anki Droid, and map my controller to Anki Droid. So go ahead and hit the uh, button with three lines here. Once you do that, you should have a nice pull out menu which shows you some subcategories like decks, card browser, statistics, settings, etc. So now you want to go to settings. Scroll down until you can see controls. And then once you get to controls, you can configure the button mappings as you desire through the command mapping section. All you need to do is this add a key and you can set it to whatever button you want so I can set it to B A etc it should already be set though so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with the default settings but you guys are more than free to set the controls however you want obviously you had to remove it first and then you should be able to map it to whatever button you want I I like it the way it is right now, where A is again, uh, or Y is again, X is hard, B is good, A is easy. So that works for me because I hold my remotes vertically. And I think you can set actions to whatever else you want here with the red flags, etc. Using the additional buttons you desire, but I should be good. Old Android device, so it takes a while for it to load. Hit study. The test, and I want to see the back of it. Hard. Good. I'm not hitting it with the touch screen, as you can see when I'm hitting you know, with the touch screen, you can see, but I'm hitting it entirely with the controller, and I said that's easy. So, yeah, I've uh, mapped my controller the way I want to and I'm a very happy customer so I hope this helped you guys out um, I don't have my decks synced up to this Anki Droid version yet so I would just quickly made a test deck to test out the controller mapping and it's working so obviously if you want to go through and 
customize it however you want. You would have to remove the uh, previously set notions. So remove gamepad Y is what you'd hit and then you'd add the key to whatever you want. And yeah, you can also do that with flags, bury cards, suspend card, etc., etc. I might make a, another video showcasing advanced Anki mappings for Anki Droid. But for basic settings, you guys are good to go with stock settings and playing around with it to your heart's content. I personally use stock settings on most of my Anki products, so yeah. That's all I have for the video today, guys. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you dislike the video, be sure to leave a dislike. Uh, if you like this type of content, be sure to stay, stay subscribed to the channel for more content like this in the future. Well, guys, that's all I have for the video today. This is Fixer Med signing off. Good luck studying, guys, as always, and goodbye.